All right, today I'm here in Coronado, California, and uh, this is a picture of a concrete oil tanker that uh, they call it the SS Monte Carlo, and uh, it was turned into a gambling ship back in the 30s, and uh, this is what it is before it's sunk, and this is what it looks like when it was sinking. So the reason it got there to be sunk <laughs> In 1937, and uh, New Year's Eve, there was a big storm that hit, and the anchor came up, and the, the boat floated and landed on shore, and that's where it ended and went and stayed. Um, back in the 30s, if you were um, about three miles out from shore, that was international waters back then. And you can gamble and drink and stuff like that. And prostitution was legal. And that's what the ship was used for. Um, pretty guessing the mob set this up. And of course, it's a popular site. You can see a bunch of people coming to see it. Because it only comes up like once a year after a really big storm that we just had. And uh, the turbulence of the water washes all the sand off of it. And, of course, it's a low tide today. I think it was like negative 1.3. So I got to see it pretty good. And this is the first time I've ever been here. So um, kind of enjoying it. I tried to go close, but the water kept getting me. I wasn't dressed for it. But, um, so anyways, three miles out. Um, 1948, of course, the government had to step in and stop all people having fun and stuff. So um, they made it where no gambling or anything in United States uh, waters, which is, you know, way out there now. And, of course, it was impractical for them to have uh, speedboats take people way out in the international waters. It was just too far, so that was the end of the gambling. They did have other ships and stuff. Um, this one, I believe, started in L.A. area, and then they ended up coming to San Diego. Uh, supposedly they, well, this is a little sand dollar I, um, found. I was going to take it home, I put it in my pocket and I broke it. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, supposedly Clark Gable and Mae West and all them was on the ship, but we don't know for sure. So, um, after it washed up on shore, nobody claimed the ship because, you know, it was an illegal ship. So nobody wanted to claim it and get arrested, so it just sat here and sunk and rotted and it's been here for 80 years. And uh, like I said, once in a while it'll show up. I think it's like every one, once a year. Um, so, uh, yeah. And uh, of course once it washed up, people had to loot it and they took all the wood off of it and booze and the silver slot machines. They did have like uh, roulette wheels and blackjack tables, poker games and slot machines and of course the prostitution, you know, gotta keep going. <laughs> so uh, if you ever want to see this, you're going to have to um, watch the news because it's like I said, it's a rare treat and it doesn't usually come up. That was the first time I've ever been here and I'm glad I got the chance to see it. Way back in the distance there was uh, there. The lighthouses. There's a lighthouse way out there. Anyways, that's a whole other story. But this is a, a aerial view that I got with a drone, and uh, you can see more of the ship this way. So I was too chicken to go right over it because I don't think we were supposed to be having the drones up because there is a, a navy base and they had helicopters driving. But I did it real fast just to get a good shot because you know that's the only way you see it. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this little tour, and uh, have a great day.